Oh, that was when, remember the guy came and shook hands with the Soviet guy in there? When the so Soviets and the Americans came together in space. So This room was used for the next 31 years until 1996 when it was decommissioned. But at that time, don't worry, I can assure you, we were not using these consoles in 96 to control our shuttles. These had been taken out after the Apollo program in the mid 70s, and we put most of these on. Nobody can resist touching his butt. Whoever touches his butt, maybe.
trouble with that approach, so we're going to give you another shot, starting at 3,000 feet. The autopilot will handle the roll, allowing you to concentrate on pitch. Good luck. Just do it. Dun, 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 dun. Everything's dizzy. Okay, come on over here, if you would, please. Roger, I got him. Don't drift so much. Keep it steady. Okay, you're going to crash again. Get it in there. 500. Here's coming. 
your landing, and that might be using the term a little loosely, was not quite a textbook case. Your biggest problem was what we call excessive h dot. Another way to view this is if you jump off a 10-story building without a parachute, you'll generally hit the ground with excessive h dot. Get the picture? Keep trying, though, and you're bound to improve, and don't forget that all-important flare. Well, I hope you've enjoyed learning to land the space shuttle. Thanks for joining me. Please get up and give someone else a chance to fly. Again. One, two, three. <laughs> Got her. Right here. Okay, now. Oh, it's a dirty helmet. That's what it is. It's not us. Okay, turn around, Drew. Let's take another picture. Get closer, sir. Sir, you get closer. There we go. Now we drew on these Okay. One, two, three. One, two, three. Wait, now wave. One, two, three, wave. Okay, good. I said touch it. Oh, look at these. 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 Oh,